What is going on guys, Adam here at the 40 a So we're going to be reviewing Mateus Cunha's objective card from last season. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, he's coming in with 4 star, 4 star and high, high work rates. He can play striker, cam, uh, centre forward and left wing. Uh, his pace is fantastic, his shooting is fantastic. His passing is fantastic in all the right areas. His dribbling is outstanding besides balance and his physicals are really good. It's all round a great card. So, better late than never, as I say. Um, I wasn't sure whether to put this video out, but some people might have him sat in the clubs and have not tested him yet, or they don't think that he's going to be good. So, I thought I'd put the review out still at this point. So, we've got Rapid, Flair and Travella for the play styles. Let's get into the action, guys. So, Cunha's one that really, really straight off the bat hit the ground running for me. He was absolutely outstanding at a time when I was really struggling, when we'd just got an update and my tactics no longer worked, as is the way every single time we have an update, which is starting to get on my nerves. Even though it's the same every year, it bothers me every year. So that's where I was up to with him. He came in at a great time. I think in his first game, he got three or four goals for me. Absolutely outstanding. His Travellers feel much better than most other players that I've used. They feel more, more accurate, more precise, and they kind of move like a bullet. If you, you get what I mean, like it's it's pinged straight into the, the net. Some of the people's travellers, they go up high and they like curl on an angle up into the far corner. Well, not Cunha's. He just don't work like that. So that was a good thing about him. His physicals really come into play, as you just saw by that goal there. He can shrug off defenders. He can definitely shrug off most midfielders. So, positioning, as you just saw. Right place, right time. Absolutely outstanding. And one of the best things about this card is he can play on a wing and still do a fantastic job there. So he can play as a striker, and in, in that striker role, he can be your false nine, he can be your target man, he can get in behind for you, he can do everything. But then if you get a better striker, you can just slap him out on a wing. And he can do the job as a winger, but he can also play as an inside forward for you and get the goals when it matters. In my opinion, he's better than Rodrigo's Trailblazers card. And a controversial one for you, I would say that he's better than Vinicius Jr. I've got Vinicius untradeable. I don't see the big deal. Unless you're a person who uses every single skill, Vinicius doesn't do much for me. And he feels very slow. So you see in a vast array of goals, assists, great dribbling, power plays, everything. And again, he's perfectly in. Right place, right time. Never gives up. Makes a move for you. So when I picked Cunha, I was so torn. I stayed on the screen for ages looking between Kone and Cunha. And I could not decide. And then eventually I decided, you know what? I've got some Brazilians in the team. I've got some Premier League players in the team. Those boys aren't going anywhere. So let's do it. The Bundesliga feels very neglected this year. And yes, I could have got that Kone in with French links. But it just felt right. It just felt right to get. Look at this, stealing that goal. Yes, that was curious. Um, yeah, it just felt right to get the Brazilian Premier League player in. So, all in all, if you've got him in your club, I would recommend you go and give him a go, guys. If you didn't get him and you no longer use Kone, you missed out, guys. He's fantastic. Thanks for watching and take care.